Neo Berlin 2087 is an action RPG set in a cyberpunk future version of Berlin. Players control Nolan, a detective investigating the murder of the police chief while navigating a city divided by technological advancements and socio-economic disparities. The game features both third- and first-person perspectives, combining elements of shooter, stealth, and investigation. Reality. The police chief has been murdered. I'm Special Investigator Nolan. I have to track down his daughter Natalie. She saw what happened. Whatever she knows must be big. A journey to save her. I hope I'm not too late. Whoever's responsible doesn't want this to be solved. I'm being followed, targeted. The truth is always a threat when corruption is in control. Maybe I can stop this city from falling into chaos. Destiny 2. The Final Shape is the latest major expansion for the popular online multiplayer shooter, Destiny 2. This expansion concludes the decade-long War of Light and Darkness storyline. Players will venture into the heart of the Traveler to confront the ultimate adversary, the Witness. The expansion introduces a new prismatic subclass which allows players to blend light and darkness powers for the first time, along with new exotic weapons, armor, and gameplay features. But I know now. After all we've seen, all we've lost, this fight might be our last. So I'm asking you. Body Cam is an ultra realistic multiplayer first person shooter developed by Resod Studio. The game is built using Unreal Engine 5 and emphasizes high levels of realism and photorealistic graphics. It features multiple game modes including Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, and a unique mode called Body Bomb. The gameplay is designed to simulate real-life combat scenarios, where strategic movement and precise shooting are crucial. Four Minutes to the Apocalypse is an action-adventure game with RPG and survival horror elements, developed by Atomic Wolf. The game is set aboard the Arizona 12, a submarine after a devastating nuclear war. Players take on the role of a member of a peacekeeping force tasked with sneaking onto the submarine and preventing it from being used to further devastate the planet. The best lack all conviction, while the worst are full of passionate intensity. The darkness drops again, but now I know that 20 centuries of stony sleep were vexed to nightmare by a rocking cradle. And what rough beast its hour come round at last slouches towards Bethia. Project Quarantine is an upcoming tactical first-person shooter game set in a destabilized United States. The game features both single-player and cooperative gameplay modes, where players can team up to complete missions or engage in player-versus-player -player combat. The gameplay emphasizes survival against hordes of infected enemies, utilizing a variety of weapons, tools, and equipment.
Luna Abyss is a narrative-driven, first-person action-adventure game developed by Bonsai Collective. Set on a mimic moon named Luna, players explore a derelict colony filled with cosmic horrors. The game combines fluid platforming with intense bullet-hell combat. Players take on the role of Fox, a prisoner sent to explore the depths of Luna to uncover its mysteries and recover lost technology. An inhospitable place far below the surface of this alien moon. I should warn you, the Abyss has a tendency to attract undesirable things. My best advice? Try not to die. And I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Aelin. Terminator Survivors is an open-world survival game set in the iconic Terminator universe, developed by Nacon Studio Milan. The game is set a few years after Judgment Day and focuses on the struggle for survival against Skynet's machines and other human factions. Players can play solo or in co-op mode with up to three friends. Back in the night, the world of Skynet will have to fight. But then you life one day will see, and everywhere our name will be Survivor. Boundary is a multiplayer, tactical, space-based, first-person shooter developed by Studio Surgical Scalpels and published by Skystone Games. The game features zero-gravity combat, where players, known as Astro Paraders, engage in team-based firefights in space. The game includes customizable loadouts, various classes, and specialized equipment like grappling hooks for maneuvering through complex environments. Robobeat is a rhythm-based, roguelike first-person shooter where players take on the role of Ace, a bounty hunter tasked with capturing the rogue robot Frazer in his ever-changing lair. The game combines fast-paced shooting, wall running, sliding, and jumping, all synchronized to the beat of the music. Players can use the custom music feature to upload their own tracks, which will influence the rhythm and flow of the gameplay. Hicks Defiant is a free-to-play first-person arena shooter developed by Ubisoft. It features fast-paced multiplayer matches with a variety of factions inspired by different Ubisoft franchises such as Splinter Cell, Ghost Recon, 
The Division, Far Cry, and Watch Dogs. Players can customize their loadouts with various weapons and attachments and compete in several game modes including Domination, Hotshot, Occupy, Escort, and Zone Control. Killing Floor 3 is an upcoming co-op action horror first-person shooter developed by Tripwire Interactive. Set in 2091, the game features the rebel group Nightfall fighting against the bio-engineered horde of Zeds created by the megacorporation Horzine. Players team up to battle waves of these monstrous creatures using a variety of devastating weapons and tactics. The game emphasizes cooperative gameplay with up to six players allowing for strategic coordination and intense action. Exometcha is a free-to-play, online competitive first-person shooter developed by Twisted Red. The game offers a flexible playing style featuring large-scale battles, mechs, unique gadgets, and intense boss fights. The game includes various gameplay modes such as team-based battles, a unique battle royale mode, and an objective-based game mode. John Carpenter's Toxic Commando is a co-op-y first-person shooter, inspired by 80s horror and action movies, developed by Saber Interactive and published by Focus Entertainment. The game is set in a near future, where an experiment to harness Earth's core power goes disastrously wrong, releasing the Sludge God and turning the living into undead monsters. Players take control of a team of mercenaries, the Toxic Commandos, to battle hordes of these monsters using a variety of weapons, vehicles, and special abilities.
Ferocious is a first-person shooter developed by Omyog and published by Tiny Build. The game is set on a mysterious island overrun by dinosaurs and hostile mercenaries. Players who survive a shipwreck must navigate this dangerous environment, using a variety of weapons to fight for survival and uncover the island's secrets. The gameplay involves completing objectives, exploring the jungle and rocky coast, and battling both human and prehistoric threats. Instinction is an action-adventure game developed by Hashbane Interactive. This game is set in a prehistoric world filled with dinosaurs and ancient mysteries. Players will navigate through lush environments, battling various dinosaur species, and uncovering the secrets of a hidden civilization. The game features a blend of first-person and third-person perspectives, offering a mix of combat, exploration, and puzzle-solving. I found them. to do it all again.